Welcome to another episode of Demo to Decor, the renovation of a New York City brownstone. In today's episode, architect Brendan Coburn will walk us through several aspects of the current state of renovation, including the brownstoning process, insulation and window installation, and the renovation of the rear facade. Brownstone was used quite a bit in New York um, from about the 18, late 1840s until by the 19 teens. Um, it's not a very good material. It's lovely. It was, it was picked because it was easy to carve. Because it was easy to carve, it doesn't hold up to the weather very well, sadly. Um, so uh, most of these, these houses have to have some sort of work done on their brownstone. This house uh, is going to have to have its complete facade redone. Um, that is a job that can either be done during the course of construction or it can be done when the project is finished. What you're looking at here is the deterioration of the brownstone, the, 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 the sandstone. Um, you can see that it's a um, sedimentary rock and the sediments are, are uh, delaminating from the uh, front back and you can see that it's all just turned to powder and it's falling here on the roof and uh, you can see over there that it's also that the cracks are appearing elsewhere in the facade so this really shows that it's time to uh, get this facade taken apart and put back together. What I wanted to just show here is this is how we are handling insulation in this row house and we handle this is what we've sort of developed as a good uh, insulation detail for row houses in general. We have a, um, a brick wall here which is part of the front facade. This front wall is three widths of brick and then um, the four inch layer of decorative uh, quarried brownstone on the front. We have then provided a two inch airspace between the masonry and then wood studs. And then within this wood stud cavity, we will insulate this with a mineral wool insulation. The idea behind having this airspace is to allow any latent moisture that gets through the brick wall to have a place to evaporate within the cavity. And then we also keep the sort of thermal layer of the house completely separate from this big cold masonry mass. Okay, we're here looking at uh, one of the front windows on the house. It's a replacement window. Um, all of the windows in the house are being replaced front and back. The windows facing the street had to be approved by the Landmarks Commission. They're, they're just basically reproductions of what was once here. Uh, what's interesting is you'll see that in this particular case, we have the beveled glass divided light up top. They're being reinstalled with a wood frame, which is recessed within the masonry. Um, they will be insulated on the inside and caulked on the outside. We're just down on the second floor now. We're looking at the progress on the back wall so you can see a full story of this rebuilt wall. You can see all of the old bricks are mixed in here. You know, you can see that some of this brick is, you know, we're, we're running out. It's, it's going to be tough to get enough brick out of the old building to sort of get a good wall, but we're, we're off to a good start. Um, and then the one thing I want to point out down here is that this is the copper flashing, and this is this is uh, this goes back in the wall and bends up, and this keeps any water that penetrates this wall and migrates down the wall will be able to get out here. And this also is the surface where the flashing from the roof of the new addition will clip in to the into this into this little piece here. Check back for the next episode of Demo to Decor for the latest news on the renovation's progress.